Our aim in bringing together marine experts and data and technology specialists is to really generate new ideas and spur innovation around serious environmental problems. And so the challenge that we're posing here today is for you to design a solution to better track and identify global seabird bycatch. And they're going to be based upon uh, some four presentations that we have from marine, marine bird experts. Think as big as possible, address the problem in a creative way. The real problems that we have in our work is the lack of data. Uh, the fishing operations at sea aren't closely observed, they've got a very low level of observer coverage, and so we don't actually have hard data, hard information on how many birds have been caught, what species of bird are being caught, and where they're being caught. And to be effective, we have to have that information. But I think the interesting thing about this game is because it's putting you in the perspective of the fishermen, like you're creating empathy for like the kinds of trade-offs and the choices that they have to make. So you have the social share for building awareness, then there's the political, maybe there's that political component to it, and then the donate aspect. If you can control the setting in which the picture is taken, that's huge because then you can start to think about, you know, different vision techniques. And so the monitoring aspect and then collect, doing something with that data to pressure fishing companies and informing the public. And then partnering with a fabric company to potentially create some new fabrics that the streamers could be made out of. So normally you would use fins, but we can make one of these things out of flexible plastic and just have like magnetic repulsion to put the wings out one way or another. Yeah, real-time data on board for bird advisories, that's the one we talked about. It's just like a hurricane advisory. The, the albatross are coming, the albatross are coming. And I thought that was really brilliant because it, it basically said, don't get stuck in this little minutia. Let's let's stay big, let's, let's steam forward. And it was really positive and reaffirming for folks. And so they all just, okay, let's go. Definitely very organized. It may seem kind of chaotic. We are developing not only an app, but a video camera to sync with that app. I think it's a really exciting innovation, and you'll get to hear about it when we present this afternoon. Our first product out of the gate is going to be a new streamer line technology that's going to help the existing streamer line solution be more successful. The group is called Fisher Fowl and we're working to build feather-free fisheries through a game and associated social campaign. There needs to be cost-effective data collection system. Um, there also needs to be increase in automation of data collection so it's not so onerous on fishermen. Out of this day and a half, there are some really good seeds of innovation and really creative ways of moving forward uh, to help marine birds, things that we really want to carry with us as we move forward, not just in, in how we approach the problems, but in how we think about working on the problems and how we source ideas. So this has been absolutely incredible. So our grand prize winning team is Pelagic Longline. So thank you. I think it's, it's really interesting to see the other parts of the bigger problem. Like, it's not just about developing systems. It's about project managers and designers and thinkers and mathematicians and scientists. All these resources, designers, hackers, tech people, business people, uh, right there in the group with you. It's, it's really powerful to bring together a diverse group.